Nicholas Bronsted, a Danish chemist, and Thomas Lorry, an English physical chemist, they independently came up with this theory called as the bronsted lorry theory to explain the nature of acid and base. So according to them, an acid is a proton donor. A proton is also known as a hydrogen ion. So let's try to understand why a hydrogen ion is called proton. So let's say this is my hydrogen atom with just one proton and one electron. So this is my atom, hydrogen atom. And let's say it loses that lone electron. The cross represents the electron here. So if it loses that lone electron minus an electron, what do we get? Well, there is no more electron. There is just one proton left. That's why this is called a proton. The hydrogen ion is also known as a proton because it's nothing but just a single proton after it loses an electron. Let's get back to the definition of uh, Bronsted lorry acid. They said acid is a proton donor. Let's take this example and understand. So if I have hydrogen chloride, which is a gas, or, uh, dissolved in water, produces or gives hydronium ion, H3O+, plus, plus chloride ion. And this is a reversible reaction happens both ways. So and they said HCl is an acid according to them. It's a Bronsted Lorry acid. Now why is that? Because it has the ability or tendency to donate a H plus ion an NH plus ion. So HCl can donate a H plus ion so they call this as a Bronsted Lorry acid. And here or water is accepting that proton. So they call this as a base. And they said base is a proton acceptor. Proton acceptor. Right? So if the acid donates, the base accepts that proton. That's what is happening in the forward reaction. And you get this hydronium. Hydronium with an I. Also known as oxonium. You can call this as hydronium or oxonium ion. Well, this is your chloride ion, by the way. So in the reverse reaction, let's take a look at this reverse reaction, this backward arrow. And what's acting as an acid in the reverse reaction? Well, this hydronium ion donates a proton to this one. So this is giving a proton or H plus ion to Cl minus. So we can call this as our bronsted lorry acid. And this is accepting that proton. We can call this chloride ion as a base. right? But uh, here is the catch. Now we have HCl and Cl minus. This Cl minus is formed from this acid. So they call this as a conjugate base. We all know why it's called a base, because it's accepting a proton. But why the word conjugate? Well, they said the Cl minus ion and its parent, HCl, they differ by one proton. So the difference between HCl and Cl minus, that difference is just one proton, or H plus. So since both of them differ by a proton. They call this as not just a base, but a conjugate base, because it's derived from its parent, HCl, which differs from it by just one proton. And similarly, the relationship between water and the hydronium ion is something like this. So if you have water and hydronium ion, H3O+, and both of them differ by a proton. So the difference between these two is a proton or H plus ion. So they're also basically conjugate. So this can be called as a conjugate acid. In other words, we can call this as conjugate acid. So the word conjugate basically refers to a difference of one proton between the product and its parent reactant. So that we understood what uh, bronsted lorry acid and bases are and their definitions. Now let's take another example and see what's happening here. Okay, 
So let's take, uh, this is our first example, let's take our second example and let's use a different color for that. So let's say in the second example we have ammonia gas is bubbled through water and we are getting well again this is a reversible reaction you can represent it with uh, two arrows it's a reversible reaction so we get NH4 plus ammonium cation plus OH minus aqueous hydroxide ions now let's try to find out what is the Bronsted Laurie acid here well if you look at this reaction NH3 is becoming NH4 plus and H2O is becoming OH minus in the forward reaction that means water is giving a proton here H plus ion to ammonia so since this is donating a proton we can call this as our Bronsted Laurie acid because it's a proton donor donating a proton and this is accepting a proton we can call this as Bronsted Laurie base that's what is happening in the forward reaction whereas in the reverse reaction this one the ammonium cation loses a proton to this one so we can call this as our acid right it's donating a proton and this is an ex and this is accepting the OH minus is accepting a proton so in the reverse reaction we can call this as a base and again just what we said a few seconds ago um, we can call this as a conjugate acid because NH4 plus and its parent reactant NH3 they differ by a proton so this is our conjugate conjugate acid and similarly OH minus is derived from H2O so since the difference between water H2O and OH minus is one proton so we can call this as our conjugate base so OH minus can be called as our conjugate base right so that's uh, what Bronsted Laurie basically said about acid and base acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors.